communities were coming together to form a new bipartisan coalition called the Mayor's Alliance. Coming together and speaking with one voice about the issues that impact our communities and our constituents, we will demonstrate the important role that Ohio cities play in creating jobs and stimulating growth across the state. Now it's my privilege to turn it over to Nan Whaley, Mayor of the City of Dayton. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, we're pretty excited about today. Um, the idea for forming this group came out of many informal discussions and conversations among mayors from across the state. The impacts of local government fund cuts and other policy changes certainly sparked those conversations, but we've also realized the need to collaborate and share innovative ideas amongst Ohio's 30 largest cities. After months of conversations, we came together here in Columbus to discuss the formation of a new organization that would bring Ohio's mayors together in a bipartisan way and help us to better engage on state and federal issues that impact our communities and cities. Today, we are pleased to announce the formation of the Ohio Mayors Alliance, a bipartisan coalition of mayors in Ohio's 30 largest urban and suburban communities. Ohio is unique in that it has a large number of urban centers. That is why it is so important for us to come together with one voice to address the challenges and opportunities facing Ohio cities. As we began forming this organization, we wanted to make sure that not only was our membership bipartisan, but that our bylaws would solidify that bipartisanship. To accomplish this, the board must include members of the opposite party and have representatives from representation from both large and small cities. Uh, and adoption of any official policy position by the Ohio Mayor's Alliance must be approved by a supermajority, or two-thirds of the total membership. Our mission is to strengthen Ohio cities and metropolitan, reg metropolitan regions through collaboration, communication, improved advocacy, and stronger partnerships with state and federal policymakers. Our focus will be on developing a common set of policy priorities that bring communities and leaders together, ensure a high quality of life for our citizens, and strengthen the economic vibrancy of our communities and our state. To discuss that point, I'm pleased to introduce um, Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley. Yeah. Hi, I'm John Cranley. I'm the mayor of the great city of Cincinnati. Um, earlier this week, in preparation for today, uh, Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley, myself, and Finley Mayor Lydia Mihalik met with all four of the legislative leaders and state speaker, the majority leader, the minority leaders. We met with the governor's staff and we met with Attorney General Mike DeWine in person to talk about who we are and what we're about. And um, obviously, as been mentioned many times, this is a bipartisan effort. And I think it's important to point out that in 2015, $850 million of new private investment were made in Ohio's biggest cities, representing 8,700 new jobs. I, I think more than anything else, we want this organization to raise the awareness of what cities are and what cities are not in Ohio. I think too often the rhetoric coming out of Columbus suggests that somehow we're somehow welfare dependent states on the state. The fact is that we are net donors to the state in taxes. And most of the jobs are being created in cities. And we as cities give more to the state than we receive in return. And too often we hear rhetoric that's very anti-local government, anti-city, coming out of Columbus that suggests that somehow that, uh, you know, that we're, we're asking them for help. No, actually, it's the other way around. The state can't do anything for Ohio, including our wonderful rural areas, without the jo jobs that are created in cities. And big picture, what's good for cities is good for Ohio. Um, and we want to raise, and again, in a bipartisan manner, fact that encouraging home rule and encouraging cities to do what we do is good for the economy of the state. You know, Cincinnati is experiencing major economic growth. Uh, in 
fact, last year, a third of all jobs in Ohio were created in the Cincinnati area, most of whom were in the city itself. This year, we're on pace to almost 20%. Again, the vast majority of those jobs are being created inside the city limits. And those, the taxes that'll come off of that will be good and be able to be spent through all of Ohio. And so what's good for cities is good for Ohio. And we want that message to come out loud and clear in a bipartisan manner every year. Um, so with that, and I'm sure we'll get to questions later, I'd like to bring up my good friend, the mayor of Lorraine, Chase Rittenauer. Thanks, Mayor Cranley. Uh, my name is Chase Rittenauer. I'm the mayor of the city of Lorraine. And as the Ohio Mayor's Alliance, uh, we want to focus largely on our collective future. Uh, but we've also got to work together uh, to address the challenges that are holding us back from achieving our full potential. Uh, all of us up here have been impacted by a decade of state budget cuts. Uh, since 2004, the local government funds have been significantly reduced. Uh, numbers like from $647 million in 2004 to just $365 million collectively in 2015. Ohio's 30 largest cities are losing an estimated $215 million per year as a result of these cuts. These cuts have hurt our ability to grow our local economy. They put our communities in a difficult position, choosing between continuing to provide the basic core city services and making investments in job creation and attracting new talent. We face particularly difficult financial challenges when it comes to fully funding our public safety services, maintaining our roads, bridges, existing infrastructure, and providing tax incentives for businesses. All of us up here have, and I can certainly speak to that in the case of, of Lorraine. Additionally, the growing opiate crisis is straining municipal budgets, safety forces, public health services, as well as our court systems. Desp despite all of these challenges, though, we're hopeful that by working together among this great group of leaders with our state and our federal partners, and we're going to be able to strengthen our cities, build positive relationships with our state partners around our shared goals of job creation and economic growth. Uh, at this time, I think we'd uh, be happy to take a couple questions.